What's going on everybody? This is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Universe Classics Wave 14, also known as the Ultra Humanite um, Obsidian slash Todd Rice. Since he wasn't able being able to use the name Obsidian on the packaging, um, they used the term, his name, his real name, Todd Rice. Um, yeah, you know, uh, this, this figure's pretty sweet. Um, I do like the coloring on him. Um, I'm definitely really digging this head sculpt. It looks really, really nice. Uh, the cape is very unique to him. Um, I don't believe this cape has been, this style cape has been used for anybody else with, the, I mean, I, basically just talking about the collar here uh, of the cape. Um, the cape itself might ha may have been used probably numerous times, but it is all retooled and sculpted. So, I mean, he does have his own cape, which is pretty nice. Um, if you don't know who Obsidian is, or Todd Rice, he is um, the legitimate child of Alan Scott. Now, if you don't know who Alan Scott is, he is the Golden Age Green Lantern. Um, <clears throat> he actually um, did not assume his powers of, of the Green Lantern, unlike Jade, his sister. He actually uh, developed uh, more of a shadow shadow type powers um, and by shadow I mean uh, basically using um, the sh uh, the shadows and I guess he's also resistant to uh, he's resistant to antimatter um, I guess it was in crisis uh, or identity crisis I think I would have to double check I, I don't know but um, yeah still a really cool cool figure um, definitely just wanted to give you a little backstory there. I normally don't do backstories, but with this, I feel like a lot, a lot of people know a lot about uh, Obsidian. So, I mean, it, it says it in the name. It, it, he sounds like an evil, evil person, um, <laughs> but he's not. He's actually a part of the, uh, the Justice League. So, <laughs> um, uh, his sister is is the not so nice one. So there you go. If you want to go that route, uh, but uh, like I said, I do like his coloring. Um, I would prefer. I think the the down note of this figure is uh, is just all the painting, and there's not a lot of sculpting. I feel like even if they these boots were sculpted, it, it would have made the figure a little bit better. But I'll get to that in a minute. Um, he did come with the, I believe he came with the left arm of the Ultra Hermaphrodite as, uh, thank you Chapman Films, the Ultra Hermaphrodite. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I am a toddler when it comes to uh, humor. Uh, I'm not very mature. But uh, anyways, uh, he did come with the left arm of Ultra Humanite and yeah, so there you go. I don't have the package. I did buy this guy loose. Uh, I got him for uh, thirteen dollars loose, free shipping. Uh, I thought that was, you know, it, it was fine for him. He is on the list, so we're getting closer. And if you don't know which number I'm on for the list, as always, always check my description box below, and uh, also check out the other reviewers I have in that description box. Uh, they all have really great channels. Um, so yeah, he does look really cool. Let me get to articulation real quick. His head does move side to side. It can't really do a full 360 because of the collar is hindering it, obviously. Um, his head does, nah, doesn't look up. It looks down a little bit. Like, I mean, that's how much down motion you're getting. So his arm does move up about that far. Uh, let me check both arms here. He's a little stiff. For being a loose figure, he's a little stiff. I believe the uh, the person who sold me this just took him right out of package and, and never really uh, messed with him or anything like that. He was just taken out of package. So his arms do move up about that. So not the best uh, range of motion in the in the shoulder joint, but still enough. Um, does go down. It can do a full 360. He's got a bicep swivel, a single bend at the elbow, a wrist rotation. He's got an ab crunch, which kind of works. All right, I guess. Not the best range of motion. Uh, he does have a waist swivel, which works nice. T-joint hips, which go out, forward, and back. 
He's got an upper thigh swivel, which is a little stiff, a uh, single bend at the knee, and an ankle hinge. So there you go. Your basic DCUC articulation, which I always go through. Uh, he does share the same hands as the Spectre. So if you're wondering that, he does share the same hands. Um, as far as his cape and his collar here, it's all sculpted, very nicely done. The head is beautifully sculpted. I really like that really makes him look menacing even though he's not a very uh, he's not a evil person but still menacing enough um his his uh his uh i don't know what i'm sure you do call this his belt design here um is also sculpted but that's pretty much where all the sculpting ends after the cape the head and uh the belt everything else is painted which is unfortunate I feel like, um, I mean, I understand that he's a a pretty simple design, but he is a little unique in his design as well. Um, I, I would have preferred, I always prefer my boots to be sculpted, and I know I've, been, I've said that before in other reviews, but it really does help the figure look not so cheap. I think because once you get into painting on boots, then you're getting into the lines being messed up. And if it's not sculpted, I mean, you can definitely tell right there. Look at that line. It's all messed up because of the indentation of the leg, the, the leg muscle. And uh, I mean, the leg muscle looks nice, but if you're going to have a boot, it should be sculpted. I, I don't see, th there's no excuse for that. So. Other than that, I think he's a really nice figure. Um, definitely a must-get men on card if you're trying to finish your Ultra Humanite or Hermaphrodite, <laughs> whichever you want to call him. <laughs> but uh, he does look really cool, and um, yeah, he's definitely a must-get for me, so we can check him off the list. There we go, we're one figure closer. To completing the list so we're getting close um, and uh, yeah if I had to rate this figure sorry I brain farted there I don't know what was going on there um, if, I, if I had to rate this figure I probably um, you know I, I appreciate the different hands and I can appreciate a very nice head sculpt which it is for an open mouth head sculpt I think it looks all right and uh, but I think I'm going to stick with a seven with him. I just, I feel like there's something missing. Actually, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to stick with a seven. I try not to be too harsh with these reviews, but, you know, because if I'm too harsh then, and it's somebody's favorite figure, I don't want to, you know, hurt their feelings or whatever. Um, I just feel like there, there's something, there's, there's, there's an opportunity that was missed with this figure. Uh, that's all. So I'm sticking with my 7. I, I was actually going to switch to a 6.5, but uh, still, pretty cool figure. Um, he does look very nice, and you can probably get him into a lot of nice flying poses. So with that being said, I'm pretty much going to wrap it up for the my review of the DC Universe Classics Wave 14 Obsidian slash Todd Rice action figure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like him? Do you not? Um... And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's it. That was a Batman voice. I'm sorry. I'll do it again. <coughs> there we go. Sorry. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. <laughs>